Okay, here's an interesting story as far as I'm concerned. So, the U.S. Justice Department halted a decade-long experiment of hiring private companies to help manage the soaring prison population, sending shares of facility operators Corrections Corp. of America and GEO Group, Inc. plunging. Corrections Corp. fell 35% to $17.57 at the close of trading. The real estate investment trust's biggest drop since its initial public offering in 1997. GEO Group plummeted 40% to $19.51, also the largest decline in its 22-year history as a publicly traded company. The stock's paired losses of about 50% as analysts said the impact may be less severe than initially expected. Corrections Corp climbed to $18.85% in after hours trading after saying that today's decision relates to facilities that represent just 7% of its business. GEO Group rose to $20.72. The Federal Bureau of Prisons will phase out the use of privately operated prisons with the goal of ultimately ending contracts with them, according to an order today from Deputy Attorney General Sally Yates. Private prisons simply do not provide the same level of correctional services, programs, and resources, and do not save substantially on cost. And there's less need for such facilities as the federal prison population declines, she said. I am directing that. As each contract reaches the end of its term, the Bureau should either decline to renew that contract or substantially reduce its scope in a manner consistent with law, Yates said in her memo. The Federal Bureau of Prisons accounts for 25% of the U.S. Justice Department's budget annually, Yates wrote. While the federal government overall generated 51% of Corrections Corps' revenue last year, today's action affects the Bureau of Prisons and doesn't apply to U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, which is part of the Department of Homeland Security. Security and accounted for 24% of Corrections Corp's 2015 revenue, according to the company's annual report. The Justice Department also oversees the U.S. Marshal Service, which accounted for about 16% of Corrections Corp revenue. This policy shift is clearly a negative for the publicly traded for-profit prison companies, but it is far from a death sentence, Isaac Boltansky, an analyst at Compass Point Research and Trading LLC in Washington, wrote in a report today. The Justice Department action also has no direct impact on corp Corrections Corp's biggest state customer, the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation. The state already has been moving to comply with a previous court order to reduce its prison population, said spokesman Joe Orlando. The California Department, which also contracts with Corrections Corp for seven in-state facilities in three out-of-state sites accounted for 11% of the company's 2015 revenue, according to its annual report, Incarceration Growth. <clears throat> The Federal Bureau of Prisons began contracting with private operators about 10 years ago after incarceration grew beyond what it could handle. The U.S. prison population increased by almost 800 percent between 1980 and 2013, huh, probably due to Reagan Clinton, often, often a, at a far faster rate than the Bureau of Prisons could handle at its own facilities, according to the Yates Memo. But cracks in the plan emerged, with incidents of assault and other problems in private facilities piling up. By 2013, with both the federal prison population and the proportion of federal prisoners in contract facilities reaching their peak, the Bureau was housing about 15 percent of prisoners, or almost 30,000 inmates, in privately operated facilities. That same year, the Justice Department began to identify reforms, leading to actions including the decision three weeks ago to end a contract for about 1,200 beds and to today's call to phase out contracts with private operators in, few, in the future. These steps will reduce the private prison population by more than half from its peak in 2013, Yates said. Corrections Corp., the largest U.S. owner of private prisons, owned or controlled 49 facilities and 25 halfway houses and managed an additional 11 sites owned by its government partners as of June 30, according to its second quarter regulatory filing. At GEO Group, U.S. government agencies accounted for 45% of revenue in 2015, according to the company's annual report. GEO Group has been trying to win new clients and also operates facilities in Australia, South Africa, and the U.K.
We value our partners and we will continue to work with them, both through the types of management solutions we've provided for more than three decades, as well as new innovative opportunities we've been exploring in recent years in a proactive effort to meet their evolving needs, Corrections Corp said in an emailed statement. It's important to note that today's announcement relates only to BOP, Bureau of Corrections, Correctional Facilities, which makes up 7% of our business. My name is Yurima Karama, here at Your Black World News. Thank you.